Uh, hey guys, what's up? So I just got this. I ordered this about four days ago and I'm really excited right now because this is like one of my favorite albums of all time and I'm really happy to finally have it on CD. It's been a while. Um, been like about a month or two since I've uh, been wanting to buy it. Um, here we go. We got When the Kite String Pops by Acid Bath on CD and this is the um, remastered edition from 2004, I think, if you can read that when the cut drink pops remastered um on the sidebar there um so yeah um the original the one there were a few originals on ebay um i bought this off ebay for like about 15 bucks um there were some originals on ebay from the 994 um and i wanted to get an original copy but they were like pretty expensive so this is uh just as good because you know it's whatever um it also says rotten records on here and i know some people are probably going to comment um, why do you, why are you supporting Rotten Records? Aren't they, like, you know, pretty shitty? And yeah, they are. Um, which is why I bought this off of a seller on eBay that was not Rotten Records, or even had the name Records in the name. I wanted to make sure that I was not supporting their label, because, um, yeah, their label is absolute, absolute scum, but... Yeah, so we're gonna open this up here, I'm gonna show you what's inside it. Um, this is my first time seeing what's inside the album. Um, and it's got one of those stupid stickers on it, so I'm gonna have to take that out. I might cut the video a little bit because I have to, um, freaking, um, show you the actual unboxing. Because, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to cut it, um, cut the video because I have to, um, show you guys the, um, I have to t take the sticker off, I can't talk enough. Ah, it's upside down. <laughs> Alright, there's, uh, when the kite string pops, there it is, front and the back of it. Um, and I hate these stupid stickers. I don't know what the point of these are anymore. I really don't get it. Because here's what happens. I hope that it doesn't happen, but it might. And especially on the freaking black CD cover like this. See, it just happened. Yeah, that freaking stuff. And you have to, like, take it off like that, and it kind of sucks because all that residue gets on there, and you have to, like, spend time to scrub it off. Actually, I'm surprised <clears throat> that I was able to get that off with one hand. Because um, those things usually take so much maintenance. Also, I have um, the Beatles channel on right now. So if you hear the Beatles in the background, that's why. Alright. CD is... Sticker's taken off. I'm really excited to see what the inside looks like. I hope it's nothing like generic or anything. If it is, it's whatever. Because the, the music is still amazing, so I don't care. Um, okay, let's open it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, it's pretty cool. So, um, here's a disc. I mean, uh, it's kind of it's, it's pretty wedged in there. We got the uh, when the cut string pops disc 14 tracks. This is again a perfect album, in my opinion. Just one of the greatest ever. Um, at least in my is one of my favorites. Um, that's the back. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, this is the remastered edition of it. So, there's some uh, um, some ads back here because. Their, uh, their record label is kind of scum, but it's whatever. So uh, we got uh, When the Kite String Pops CD and LP, the Demos CD, Double Live Bootleg DVD, some Acid Bath stickers, the Pig and Terrorism Tactics shirt, and there's a t-shirt, long sleeve and hoodie, and then When the Kite String Pops t-shirt, which I really want to get a Kite String Pops t-shirt. Either um, this one or the one where it's like the actual cover and it's got like the text on the side because that one also looks really cool. And then the CDs for both the albums, and then the Pig and Terrors and Tactics poster, which actually looks pretty cool. Get in there. You get official Acid Bath merch. Long sleeve shirts, baby doll shirts, hoodies, poster stickers, and more. Obviously, I'm not going to buy, if I do end up getting any of this stuff, I'm not going to buy it from Rotten Records because they're pretty scummy, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's a little interesting. I'm assuming because it's the remastered edition, they just decided to throw that on there, which is a little, yeah. Um, so it's whatever. Um, yeah, I don't think the original has that. So, yeah. There's a disc. Acid Bath when the Kite String Pops remastered. Um, yeah, again, I'm really... Whoa, drop that. No scratches. Pretty good. I'm really excited to play this. You have no clue. Um, <laughs> okay. Here's the back. More John Wayne Gacy artwork, which is, uh, yeah. Which, you know, I don't support John Wayne Gacy, obviously. But, I mean, the artwork is pretty cool aesthetic for the album even though the band themselves don't really like it this looks to be a fold out acid bath pops just the front and the back of it 
Um, oh shoot, okay. Okay. That's actually super cool. So we got a we got an awesome band shot there. Mike, Jimmy, Dex, Audi, and Sammy. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, obviously, I think yeah, that's Sammy. Um, it's kind of because you we're used to how he looks now. Um, obviously, he's in Goat Whore now. Um, obviously, Dax has a million other projects. Um, rest in peace to Audi, of course. Um, all the lyrics in here, which is actually super cool. Um, I was wondering if they were gonna have them. More credits. Acid Bath, Sammy Duet, Jimmy Kyle, Audi Pitcher. I never knew how to say his last name. Audi, Audi Pitcher. Dax Riggs and Mike Sanchez for credits. Here's some special thanks if you guys want to read that. Ded dedications. And then the inside of it. Here's all those crazy, crazy lyrics from the album. So yeah, it's super cool to actually have the band photo in there. That's awesome. That's super cool. So there's a acid bath. So yeah, that's uh that's the unboxing for uh, when the kite swing pops, the remastered edition. Um, overall, super cool. I'm I'm super happy to have this. Um, one of my favorite albums ever. So uh, really cool to have it. Even if it is the remaster, obviously the remaster is just like basically the same album, just remastered, but. Only thing I have an issue with on this specific edition of uh, when the kite string pops is uh, the ad. The freaking oh, get it out there. I'm um, the freaking ad on the back of the uh, disc tray because you know they just love rotten, rotten records. Just, just loves to get that extra cash in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, really happy about this purchase. One of my top ten albums, so this was a necessity. Um, super cool to have. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.